This song's about uh, my granddad, and uh, it's the whole entire song's not is, is about him and everything that, he, that I can remember him doing. And like, there's certain lines in the song that were just funny little traits that he used to have. Like, um, it starts off with this scene, like we try to, to uh, imagine this scene of him when it snowed him walking backwards out of his driveway because he used to say to me, "Oh, you know, the bird doesn't think we're out." You know, because there's footsteps going into the house, and that you know he was quite an eccentric person who used to think of things like this. He did a lot to, to change, help people, and to change society in, in the northeast as well, like helping people to get jobs, helping schools, helping children and parents and stuff like that. Switching on the lights in life turned out you were desperate. Time. Switching off the lighting light turned out due to desperate times. That was like in the last recession. Switching off the lighting light is representative of like, you know, people being out of work and losing jobs and stuff like that. Turned out due to desperate times, which was at the time, it was a tough time for jobs. Um, uh, you reignited hope in them. How they could deal with you back again, because it's like now a recession, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's it. That's basically what it means, that bit.
Some people have said that this song sounds like it's about an argument with a loved one or, you know, having a tiff with your girlfriend or whatever. And and basically it came from times like that. And the, the I got the name from it, Reflections, because it's like a look back on things that, you know, I, I might have done differently. And... Um, message of the song even though it you know the, the verses are, are about how you know <laughs> although it's a, it's a look back on things that you might have done differently um, it's the underlying message of the song even <laughs> well, anyway, it's one o'clock we'll get to crack on with this one. Um, she listened to the words and thought straight away like oh this is bad it's a bad song about me so it's not it's bad mainly about me if you listen to the words, part of it's back, back in my old shoes, back to my old ways, you know, and that was like a bad time in the relationship. The inspiration behind this song was uh, one of my friends, close friends who had been in a band with me and, and a few other lads for quite a few years and um, he ended up, he had a, a lot of um, problems and he, uh, he passed away about probably three or four years ago now and the inspiration behind you know, his life and our time in the band with him sort of prompted me to write a song that I thought was quite poignant in the end and, uh, and all the words within that song is, is centred around you know, the, the, the days preceding and immediately after the funeral when, uh, you know, when, when emotions run high and stuff. I can't catch you now Cos you have left Maybe one day I'll see you again Everybody's asking after you Paying tributes and feeling bad wasn't great life. Nobody knows unless they've been told. Picturing us home and the things that they know. Can't quite believe. 
Everybody knows it's you Will we ever know the truth I did stay with you? Oh. Memories fill my mind as time ticks by Makes me wonder if I'll be far behind I remember running after you Laughing at people who couldn't see you They had problems Nobody knows unless they've been told Picturing the thousands of things that they don't know Can't quite believe what they are hearing Eyes and sunken, what must his mother be feeling now? Everybody knows it's you Everybody knows it's you Will we ever know the truth I did stay with you? This is a Chinese song called Tuning. <laughs> <laughs> this song's about the this song's about the frustration of having people around you that you don't want to be there. And uh, your and people whose attitudes change to things that are usually. Met so many people like you and told me exactly what I should do. It's about people who used to come to gigs and tell you everything that you like that bit in the middle where it says, I've met so many people like you who've told me exactly what I shouldn't do. Uh, endless people come to gigs and, and, and not without being constructive, critically, you know, and say, oh, you shouldn't do that, you should do this, you know, blah, blah. And it was like nothing that you know, that made any sense. Because everyone can relate to people who are like, you know, have, you know, a fickle in that sense, like, but for me it was the band thing, it was the, the fact that people come to gigs and criticise you for no apparent reason other than you should do what I say, I should do, because I know better than you type of thing, you know. And I don't know why people do that. You know, probably some kind of jealousy or insecurity in their own part, I don't know. <laughs> but I just couldn't understand why people would want to criticise you for, for no real reason. You know. Thank you. 